Hi guys, it's Tracy here and I'm going to share most of April of my project life with you guys. So um, this is what the first weekend, the first full week in April looks like. And I've got a lot of uh, inserts for this one. Just a lot of stuff happened, uh, so I had stuff to put in. So I will show you those things, but first I'm going to just show you a close-up of the title. Uh, and this, I actually copied this idea from, I think it's from Kate, from Craft and Kate, here on YouTube. Um, I think she made a card out of this. She, uh, we have this stamp that came in, this, in the um, Studio Calico kit. It's, uh, hang on, I'll grab it. It's... This one, I don't know the name of it. I've used it with some white stays on, so it's a little stained. Um, but it's a really cool pattern. And uh, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it, but I knew I wanted to use it on the background of this title. And Kate had uh, stamped it in a similar color. This is Crumb Cake by Stampin' Up. She used a different brand, but kind of the same really light uh, brown color and she put a bunch of uh, punched circles randomly throughout it and uh, she used it as a background of a card and I just thought it would look really cool. I'm, I'm not sure if I have the same size circles that she used and I just used a bit of bingo paper from uh, I think it might be from October Afternoon or Cosmo Cricket or something. It's from one of my smaller stacks. Uh, anyways, uh, so that's what my title looks like. Oh, and these letters here, these are thickers, and these letters here um, are great for Project Life. I just want to show you what I use to make those. Um, I use this Sizzlitz uh, die cutting set. It's a set of alphabets. It's actually by Stampin' Up! And that's what the letters look like. They're a really nice, uh, really, really nice font. I love this font. And um, it's great for Project Life because it's unlimited, so you could put it all through your Project Life and use the same font if you wanted to, like make all of your months match or all of your weeks match. But also, it's it it cuts paper, so it's fairly thin, so it's not two dimensional. And I just used some scrap paper. It was actually the backing from a package of old stickers. If you can see, there's a bit of a grid line on it. So. Um, and it's also a little bit shiny because it's the backing of stickers, so um, so that kind of just makes it a little bit different from the paper that it's on. I just used a piece of the Cobalt Collection paper as the background there, that gray strip. And so, thanks Kate for the idea uh, of, of um, putting those dots on the grid. I really like that. Uh, this one here is just a piece of art that my daughter brought home from preschool. And uh, I just quoted what she said when she gave it to me. It says, Mommy, I made this for you. It has your favorite Muppet char character on it, <laughs> Sophie. And it has a little Janice, who's my favorite of the unusual Muppet characters. I think Mi um, Mickey. I think Kermit is probably my very favorite, but I really, really dig her, too. Um, so this is just a piece of foam, and it happened to be exactly the right size, so I didn't cut it or change it or anything. I just popped it in. I stapled it because it pops out, because it's so dimensional. Um, then for this one, these were my, um, this is a piece from my cords, and the journaling here says, I wore these brown cords all the time. Scott finally told me to throw them out, so now they're gone, gone, gone. And um, these cords were so old that they were actually like losing their shape. It, they, were, they really looked awful. I shouldn't have been wearing them. And one day Scott said to me, Tracy, are you ever going to throw those away? And I thought, okay, when Scott is giving me fashion advice, it's time to move on. <laughs> so I threw the cords away. But before I did so, I cut a little square out of them so I could put them in my project life. Um, and then, like, talk about everyday things, like, our blender broke, and Scott took a picture of it and put it on Facebook because he, he does that kind of thing. And so I just went into his photo stream and printed this up on a little, um, two by, two by three piece, uh, picture. I think I said in one of my other videos that I do a lot of two by threes, and then I'll just, like, 
make half picture and half journaling on these three by four cards and I really like doing that because it's super easy for me. So I just threw a piece of washi tape across and um, just journaled about it. No more smoothies until they send a replacement. We received a replacement since then. but. And then the practice where I work is move, has moved, and this was the week, our first week in the new office. And so this is my same business card, but it has a different address here. So I printed up that, so I just stuck one of those in here. And, um, oh yeah, this is Good Friday. What do you do at 8 a.m. on your Friday off? Livy does math homework. <laughs> and then I just put the Amy Tan, this is an Amy Tan's stamp from this set. I think I got it in there backwards, but that's the set. And again, another piece of washi just to uh, put a border between the photo and the journaling. And I try to do things like use different colored markers and stuff. So this is an American Crafts stamp marker. And then the bottom, uh, I had these tickets just sitting on my desk because these are made from the MFT um, ticket and die set, uh, which I think I have a video on that that I've never did posted. So I might be posting that. If people want to see this, let me know and I can post a video on um, this die and stamp set and the things it can do. So. These were just, I was fooling around one day and I print I, and I made these up and they've been sitting on my desk for a couple of weeks. So uh, I didn't have anything out. This was a week when I didn't have lots and lots of pictures. So I just decided to make one of my squares or rectangles be about how much we love Apple. So I had this sticker hanging around from something we bought before and just put these tickets. It says, ticket to my heart. And then I did some journaling here that just says that we love our Apple products. And then it says, admit it, you know you're the best with an arrow going to the Apple. <laughs> um, and then this is a picture that my daughter drew at a restaurant on the table, on the craft paper table. Isn't that amazing? She's only six years old, you guys. And look, she drew the camera with dimension. That's like the edge of the camera, and that's the front, and then the lens even has dimension. I don't even know how she does that. That's unbelievable. I couldn't do that. So um, I just put some labels down here. These are Martha Stewart labels, and I used my Studio Calico weekdays set. I don't have a dote anymore, um, but this is a Studio Calico set that I have, and I just I just um, stamped Saturday across it because that was the day that we were at Jack Astor's. So that's that half. Then I just have a couple of eight and a half by eleven inserts, and these are just like Staples brand, or I, I guess they're Avery. Um, and I put in this little Easter, and these are little math things that you can put in to add up to different amounts, I think. And then a uh, writing assignment from school, so those are both from Livy. And then my husband was featured in one of the local photography group's uh, newsletters, so I put that in there. And then some math homework from Olivia. So then Scott's grandmother had been holding on to these, uh, these are copies of our invitations from our wedding and the little RSVP card and then the little insert and directions to our wedding and uh, I guess, yeah, that's the piece. It was like a three fold, it was like a big fold down one. And so she was hanging on to this and um, Scott's mom came across it and gave it to me. Um, and I think it's really cool. I did some journaling here that, um, and I just did some stamping on a plain journaling card. This is one of the Becky Higgins grid cards. And I just did some journaling here about how neat it is that Noni was a scrapbooker um, of sorts. And I didn't want to change this. Like I didn't want to decorate it too much. I put a couple pieces of washi tape and a little sticker. And I only picked this sticker because it kind of matches with the flowers on my invitations. And then I put a keep this forever there and I'm going to put, I'm going to mat a four by six picture of Noni at our wedding right here and put it right and put it right here and just keep it there. And so this is what I really love about Project Life because when Scott's mom gave me this stuff, 
Normally I would have been, oh, that's really special. What am I gonna do with it? And it would end up getting like filed in behind our taxes or God knows where, or just put in a pile someplace or wind up in the bottom of a box somewhere and probably never see it again. But when she gave me this, I said, I know just what I'm gonna do with that. And I put it in my project life and now we get to look at it. So I'm really, really loving doing project life in case you didn't notice. So, and then this is the really super cute um, Easter card that Olivia made for us. And I just cut down a 12 by 12 page protector and um, it says, happy Easter mom and dad, love Olivia. Isn't that cute? Hey, whatever happened to mommy? <laughs> She's only six. <laughs> Anyways, and then I just did some hand journaling on it there and um, I wanna be able to open it. So that's why I'm using the, the paper clips to keep it shut. Okay, so I will fuss with that a little bit later. But here is the, I can't remember if it was there or above. So here's the second page of this week's layout or, or spread or whatever we're calling it. So the first one is just a picture of us bowling and I already scrapbooked these on 12 by 12. So um, sometimes I'll have the same pictures in my project life is what I have in my scrapbook. And then this was a um, camera die. It's also from the MFT from the same set as these uh, tickets right here. No, no, not from the same set, from the same order. Um, so I, I actually have a video that shows both of these in action and these cameras in action. So I might post that. If people wanna see that, just let me know and I can easily um, get it up there. I don't think it needs much editing. And this was left over from my Bowling Beauties uh, layout. I had taken it off because it looked like it was gonna say five Bowling Beauties and there were only four of us and one of us was a boy. Um, so five cameras were brought along, so it still applies. It was the same um, event, so I just stuck it on there. This is an MFT. Uh, camera die that it, and it came with a stamp set so I just uh, put it together and so here's the next part so then I did some some journaling about the bowling and I just used which letters did I use I used these letters these are just studio G letters letter stamps and um, just put some washi tape at the top and a tiny bit at the bottom. And then these two, I kind of wanted them to go together. Um, and these are, uh, these are stamps that come from the MFT set, die sets that I have. So, so this one comes from the ticket die set and this stamp comes from the camera die set. And I bought like the, the die and the, and the stamps that go together. Okay, then this is where I did my journaling about Easter because that was Easter weekend. I just put a bit of washi tape on the top, on the bottom, and some letter stickers at the top, and then just did some journaling about how we spent Easter. And then these are more of those um, of those bowling photos, and I just used my Studio Calico weekday stamp to put Friday on there, and then I just used my letter stickers to say good for Good Friday. So that's that spread. This is the week of the 9th to 15th of April. That's what it looks like from afar. So I'll show you guys some of the close-ups. For this, this is a stamp set. This is what it looks like in my CD cases. And I can't remember who makes it, but I have it written down if, you're, if you have a burning desire to know. Um, I have it written down. It might be, I don't know, it's some company I don't buy from very much, so I can't remember it, but it's a whole, uh, calendar stamp set. So, that's, I just stamped April, and then I used my thickers to put the 9th to the 15th. This is just a photo, 4x6 photo, and then, um, what else did I do here? Uh, I love those little cards that come in the Studio Calico kits, and this is around when I got my second Studio Calico kit, and third and fourth, <laughs> and 
and a whole bunch of stuff from their blowout sale. So I had uh, several of these cards because I ended up buying like a kit, an add-on kit, and then an old kit as well that was on sale. And so um, I just stuck these, I trimmed them down to size and made them take up a three by four space. And then I just journaled about how fun it was to get my Studio Calico kits. And I really like how this one turned out because these shades are all the same. So this, this, this was pre-printed on this card because this is one of the cards from the Cobalt Collection. This is one of the stickers from the Cobalt Collection, so these two match. But then I was able to stamp Tuesday. This is with a Stampin' Up! Uh, ink. I think it was certainly Celery, or it might have been Pear Pizzazz. It was probably Pear Pizzazz. I think certainly Celery is quite a bit lighter. So I really like how this turned out with the three green elements on it. I just think it looks really cool. And then this is this background piece with the white circles on it is what is a piece a card from the Cobalt collection. And then I just put my Studio Calico label on there so that the word was sticking out. And uh, then I did some journaling about the Titanic because uh, my city was commemorating the 100th um, the anniversary of the sinking of the ship. And that was kind of big news around here because we've got like the graveyard with the most bodies, I guess, buried. And it was kind of like a big, big thing. And Scott went to one of the ceremonies and stuff like that. So I just wanted to remember that. And this is one of my favorite chevron papers. And so I just wanted to have the paper be clear uh, for a reason that I'll show you in a second. And um, then I just put some washi tape and a little sticker here just for some interest. But I really wanted to mostly just see this paper because I love it. And you know, sometimes you just want to hang on to some pretty paper and Project Life is good for that too. So now this is the reason that I wanted this paper to be here is because this right here is, a, is an element that I cut with my, with my silhouette, with my cameo. And when I flip it like this, see how you can see that chevron paper through. And then in this big heart, area that you can't really see very well from where you're at. Uh, you can see all the little washi tape and the label, but you can't see. All you can see in these other hearts is green. So I thought that was really cool. It took me a little bit to line that up and get that to work. But um, anyways. So I'll show you the second page of this week. I have, this is just a photo, and I tried to stamp Sunday, and I did, well I did stamp Sunday, but it didn't really come out all that great. Um, you can't really see the S-U-N part. <laughs> you can see the D-A-Y, but that's okay. I kind of wish I hadn't done that because I don't like this being right beside this, but it's done, so whatever. Um, this is a picture of my daughter way up in a tree, and there's Scott and his sister kind of spotting her, I guess, in case she falls out. And so I used one of the um, arrows from the collection and then just um, letter, letter stickers from my stash to say, hey, up there. Um, and then this is, I already did a quick video on how awesome my cameo is because it can cut out such intricate detail. This is actually cut out with my cameo and placed. And the glue that I used was this one. And I just, what I did was I put it on some, I put it upside down obviously on some wax paper and I just kind of like dotted this all along all of the edges of it and I just very carefully placed it on there and this this here uh, is it's the zig two-way glue and if you stick it while it's wet it's permanent and if you stick it while it's sticky like if you let it dry for a little bit and then stick it it's temporary and so some of this it took so long to dot it that some of this is actually on with with the temporary version of like it dried a little bit but because it's in Project Life and it's in a, it's in a full, it, like it's inside of a pocket, I'm not really worried about it. I don't think it's going to move. Isn't that just an adorable picture of my daughter? She's so cute. Um, so here's the center part of this one. I did some journaling about what we did on the weekend. We went to the museum and a brewery and to a restaurant. And so that was kind of fun. I had to journal about that. And then this is just a Instax shot of... Olivia at Starbucks. She always says she doesn't like Starbucks, but she always has a good time drinking it and eating the treats. <laughs> and then this is just, um, I had a space, so I just said Project Life, still loving every minute. And then that's just a picture of my Project Life box 
that I use and then another picture of my other daughter and I did some stamping I made a whole bunch of these um, with part of the, my chevron stamp and some of my studio calico and just some of my favorite stamps and so you'll see them in the coming weeks and then this is just a picture of my daughter with our cat outside she's an indoor cat so she doesn't go out very often she's pretty nervous there and then this is that really cool heart shaped insert that I got. This is, I, I cut this with my Cameo. And this is actually two versions of it because the craft paper, I didn't have any plain craft paper back when I cut this. I cut this way back when I first got my Cameo. And so it had like a pattern on the back of it. So I reversed it and cut two of them and then I lined them up and glued them together. So this is actually the thickness of two pieces of paper. But I think it's really cool. It turned out really beautifully. So that's that page. Okay, so this is another week when I was pretty hard up for pictures. I kind of forgot to take pictures and got busy and whatever. Um, so there's, I got pretty desperate and put some pretty weird things in here, like a package of cookies. <laughs> um, but so this is the overall spread and I'll show you a close up. So. I was feeling kind of lazy, so I just took one of these journaling cards and made the date out of letter stickers and just did some outlining. And then um, Scott ordered me another Vinylmation. I'm sort of collecting the Muppets. Well, I've only got two, so I'm not really collecting, but I have this girl from my trip to Disney. I bought her. And you buy these blind so you don't know which ones you're getting. And so I got her and I was really happy because I would have picked her if I had my choice of any of them. And um, so anyways, Scott ordered me a Vinylmation for some reward points we had or something from Disney. And I got this guy and he would have been my next choice. So that was kind of cool of the two that I got. Um, I got the two I would have picked. So that's kind of fun. So I thought I'd put that in my project life. Again, I'm getting a little desperate here. Um, this is another one of those two by three photos that are, uh, you know, take up half of one of these cards with a piece of washi tape underneath. And um, I went kind of with the kiwi theme and I used the red to kind of pick up, I used the red washi tape to pick up the red in her lips. They were really bright because she's been eating fruit. And so it says, Livy eats kiwi whole and with the skin on. Yum. That's a little bit of a sarcastic yum because I think the skin on kiwis is pretty gross. But she just eats a whole kiwi. Like, you just give it to her. You just wash it and give it to her and she devours the whole thing. Uh, this is just an embellishment that I had left over. And it's on the back of this piece here is an Amy Tan. This is from an Amy Tan set of embellishments. Or I think it was the paper clips that she set that... that they have um, and so I didn't even bother covering it I just kind of left it plain and then these are this is another sorry I'm having a hard time showing this this is another just plain uh, card that I did my own stamping on so I used the approved and the circle stamp from it's one of those Studio Calico sets, I can't remember which one. And then this is one of the arrows from the collection. And I did my journaling in orange just for a change. Orange is one of my favorite colors to write in for journaling, so put that there. And I just um, journaled about the Vinylmation. And then I wanted to put this picture of Naomi in, but it was too wide to fit. And I didn't want to cut the paper because I'm pretty sure you can't cut these Polaroid, these Instax photos without ruining the chemicals inside of the picture. I could be wrong, but I didn't want to cut it. So what I did was I put the journaling strip, the, the journaling piece inside, and then I just attach. It looks like it's stapled, but it's actually glued on so that it overlaps with that. So this is actually outside of the pocket. And then there's just the back side of that. And as I said, it kind of shows through my favorite green paper. So that's kind of fun. And then this is just a box of Girl Guide cookies because Olivia was selling cookies for these the last couple of weeks. So I thought I'd just kind of document that. She sold 11 boxes of cookies in one hour up at the hardware store. So that was awesome. And then this was something that was taped to Sophie's cubby at her daycare one day. And it just tells a little story about how she was very caring for another child who was um, hurt that day. And the teacher wanted to make sure we knew. So there's the, I just put a piece of 
um, October afternoon paper in the background and, and this is the note that they gave us. And then we went to our local high school's production of Footloose. Our babysitter was in it. So we uh, went to that. So I just put a little insert for that. And then here's the side. So talk about getting desperate. I actually took a picture of my scrapbooking layout because this is the only picture I have of my sister's visit and it's an Instax, and so it's not digital, so I couldn't print up any more copies of it. Um, so, and I already scrapbooked it. So I just uh, printed up a picture of the layout. It's also one of my favorite layouts, so that's no coincidence. Um, and then I just did some journaling about their, tr about their visit. And then this was my sister-in-law's birthday. She's a cake decorator, her and her sister, um, that these two, they're cake decorators. And so she made for her a cake of, um, a cake decorating cake. So this is cake and it, everything is edible. It's all like, it's a really cool cake. And then that's the cake that they're working on. So it's kind of like, this is the table and then that's supposed to be the cake, but it's all cake. If that makes any sense. <laughs> so I wanted to document that. And then another two by three, photo with journaling uh, above it. And so I like to alternate these because I do this a lot, so I don't want them all to be photos on the top. And it just says, uh, make a funny face for straight A's because she's got this really funny face on. <laughs> and then I didn't take a picture of this, but we put up our trampoline, so I had to put that in there. And then this is just a piece of um, pink wood grain. It's a Hambly um, screen print. And it's just here because who can resist pink wood grain? That's the only reason it's there. Um, it serves no real purpose. And then that's just journaling about the cake. And this is another uh, journaling card that I made with my chevron tape or my chevron stamp and those numbers. And then I also put the little uh, paperclip stamp there. And this is an arrow from the collection, from the cobalt collection. This is a shameless copy from. Um, from Allie Edwards' blog. She did this in her Project Life several weeks, probably way back in January. And uh, when she did, I think she gave the free um, silhouette file for it. And I didn't have a silhouette then, but I actually got it because I knew I was gonna be getting a silhouette. So um, I've been hanging on to this and waiting for a week when I had a four by six that was empty to put in. So I cut that out. And there's washi tape over this. This is the person, this is the name of the person who did it, but it didn't cut very well. There were tiny, tiny letters, and I must not have had it on the right setting because Allie's came out perfect, but mine didn't, so I must have just had the wrong settings. And then this is that piece of Kessie Art paper that was so yummy. I just love the colors. It's all about school, and it's French, and um, I just love it. So I just put it in plain because it's okay to put in something plain, and also because it's nice because you see it um, through this. So there's that week, and now this is this past week, and that's all I have to show you guys. So I'll just show you the week from afar. I don't know. Yeah, you can see that. So this is the week from afar. There's a few things I don't like about this week. I wish I hadn't chosen orange for this because I think it kind of clashes with this, but Project Life isn't supposed to match, so that's what I keep telling myself. Um, so I'll show you. This is just thickers on one of the title cards from the Cobalt Collection. Uh, this is a writing award my daughter got. I just ran a strip of washi tape above and below and uh, did some journaling about parent-teacher night here. And then I made this Be I Believe in You kind of span the two because it's sort of about her um, academic achievements, both of these. So this kind of ties the two of those together because they're related. Um, this is uh, just a decorative, purely decorative. It's a pe another piece of one of my favorite uh, chevron papers. I don't know who makes it, but it's gorgeous and yummy, and it's that's what the back side of it looks like. It's a nice thick textured paper. And then this is a pink paisley piece that I had left over. And this is an Amy Tan uh, frame with a little phrase inside from, both of these are from, again, this stamp set. So then there's the back side of that wood grain paper or screen print. And then I have three, three cells devoted to lost because I am a lost freak. So I actually took a picture of my TV screen <laughs> on the opening scene of the first episode of the first season because we're rewatching lost and you can see the pause button. 
Um, and then I said, oh, for the love of Lost, because we've been all about Lost. We always were when it was on TV, and then when it went off, I was so sad and uh, wanted to get the Blu-ray, wanted to get the Blu-ray, didn't get the Blu-ray, and then finally Scott bought it for me not too long ago, so we started watching it, and now it's on Netflix, so you don't have to have the Blu-ray. But anyways, we've just got the first season, so we didn't, it's not like we spent a ton of money on it or anything. And then I just, I put the numbers from Lost right here, 4, 8, 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, 42, and then the title Lost, and then I just did some journaling about how much I love it and how we're re-watching it and how happy I am to finally be seeing all those characters again. And so here's the last thing that I'm gonna show you guys for this week. Now, these are pictures, Instax pictures of my mom and stepdad. And I just put a date stamp and I cut out the Amy Tan um, camera from that same set of stamps that I already showed you. This was a scrap from my Studio Caligo Storyteller or story hour um, kit. Can't remember who makes this. Can't remember. Oh, it's probably crepe paper from the story to t from the storyteller collection. And I just did some outlining around it just so that it kind of because the the pictures look kind of floaty on the paper. Then this is look at look at Sophie. She's got a headband with a purple glitzy bloom, which I make. I make those glitzy blooms. A a camouflage green um, jacket, a brown and blue spotted dress, brown and pink knit tights, leggings, and blue and purple sandals. And this is how we went out today. <laughs> this is from today. So she dresses herself, so I just wrote Sophie Fashionista. And then uh, this is a grocery store receipt just to show like the price of milk and I got some Neosurgeon because I still have a sore throat and some cranberry juice and stuff just so we could remember how much things cost back now, back th way back then in 2012. And then I just use a bread tag to be like the, the tab that you can pull it out. It's folded so if you wanted to see the other information on the receipt you could. And then this is more stamping that I did for my Studio Calico stamps. I've got, and this is actually a Jenny Bolin um, chevron stamp. It's not Studio Calico. I might have been referring to them all as, most of the stamps were Studio Calico, but this one is Jenny Bolin. Um, so this is about Sophie posing after we got cleaned up from doing our community cleanup. And it's, I really love this stamp. A little birdie told me. It's just so cute. Uh, and I use some of the arrows from the collection and then this is just the little pamphlet from that community cleanup and uh, Then Olivia was playing Scrabble by herself really just kind of spelling all the words that she could uh, And she put Olivia loves you in there <laughs> and get give Livy Scrabble uh, B word. I don't think she knows that they're supposed to make words. Um, word, no. But I think she did a really, really great job. She's only six and she was doing this all by herself. I just walked into the room and this is what she had done. So that's really cool. So yeah, the only other thing that I wanted to show you, these two are blank because tomorrow's Sunday and I'll probably finish these. But I just wanted to show you that I kind of thought instead of putting a four by six here that I put two um, three by fours and so in order to do that what I did was I cut a four by six piece of uh, transparency and uh, then it'll give the illusion that these have their own pockets or that they're sort of floating and so I'll put you know some journaling um, maybe a picture here and then maybe some journaling here I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow but I'll try to take a picture and do some journaling at some point so I can kind of finish this one off and then the next week, I'm actually going to put the date right here and have it look and do the same thing, like just glue to three by four journaling pieces um, here and here so that it looks, it gives the impression that it's uh, a different kind of a page protector than what it really is. So if you know what I'm trying to say. So it kind of looks like there's 3x4, 3x4, 4x, oops, it kind of looks like there's 3x4, 3x4, 4x6, and then a bunch of 3x4s, and then two 4x6s. 
um, but it's just an illusion. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out my project life. Um, I'm completely caught up now, which is really nice. I'm, I'm usually caught up. I usually do it week by week, but I had gotten about two or three weeks behind, so it feels good to be caught up. And um, I will probably do, if people want to keep on watching, I got a lot of feedback that suggested people wanted to see more, so that's why I did another one. Um, if people want to keep watching, I'm happy to do another video maybe every three weeks, just to, because I don't want to do too big of a share at once so I don't want to do more than three weeks at a time but I'd be happy to keep on doing that if you guys are interested and uh, take care and have a good week everybody